If you are not homeschooling because you think you can't, if you want to, but you think you can't, you should. I'm telling you, there's a way. If you want to, there is a way. It's not impossible because you have to work. It's not impossible because you don't know everything. Hey guys, welcome back to Everyday Blessings. My name is Nina, I'm a homeschooling mom with five kids at home, six kids total, and here on my channel, I talk about all things homeschool, from tots to teens in real life, because God didn't make me Pinterest perfect. I don't even pretend to be. Just because your child is doing school assignments at home does not make it homeschool. Today we're going to talk about the difference between remote learning and homeschooling. And maybe you should consider homeschooling. Most of the time with young kids and virtual learning, the child is sitting in front of the computer and the parent is sitting right next to them and helping them every step of the way through their entire school day. And virtual learning takes a whole lot longer than homeschooling. Maybe you should homeschool. Hybrid learning. Okay, this is part distance learning, part in-person learning. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you'll be virtual. But Tuesday, Thursday, you'll go to class. And then the next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you'll be in class, but Tuesday, Thursday, you'll be virtual. Oi, let's talk about homeschooling for a minute, okay? Homeschooling, it's completely customizable to your schedule, to your family, to your life. That sounds good. With distance learning, you're helping your children through all of their assignments anyway, and hybrid learning is crazy chaotic, so why not try this homeschool thing? So now I hear you. I hear you saying, <laughs> all of that sounds great, but I need to work. I can't work and homeschool. Oh, but you can. There are so many amazing online curriculums now. I don't know. I think I, for me, Personally, obviously, I'm a homeschooler. I would much rather have my child doing an online curriculum that takes two, maybe three hours a day and then let them dive deep into the subjects and interests that they actually have instead of spending six hours griping and groaning about being in a Google Classroom or a Zoom meeting that just goes on forever. That's just me though. I'm one of those weird homeschoolers. <laughs> Quick ad break and then we'll get back to why I think maybe homeschooling is better for you. If you're overwhelmed with the idea of homeschooling your child, you are not alone. At first, most parents are completely consumed by the array of online curriculum choices. There are so many. And what is gonna work? What's gonna fit your child the best? I suggest trying Time for Learning. Time for Learning's pre-K through 12th grade curriculum uses short animated lessons to engage younger children and lecture format for older children. So the students log into their own schedule to learn anywhere, any time. Most families find that time for learning only takes a few hours each day. Their standards-based curriculum aligns with most schools covering language arts, math, social studies, and science. They provide a solid educational foundation with flexible tools to empower students to progress at their own pace with time for learning. You'll have the resources and support that you need to ensure a successful homeschool journey. If you're interested in trying out Time for Learning, I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below. 
check it out for yourself. It's our favorite online curriculum. If you want to see how we use it, because we use it a little bit differently, then check out this video up here. I'll tell you all about how we have adapted to using Time for Learning. Back to the video. This whole idea that parents have that they can't homeschool their children is just not true. If you want to, you can. More and more parents are growing tired of this roller coaster of remote learning, virtual, in-person, hybrid, virtual, in-person, hybrid. It's just all over the place. The number of homeschooling families has increased dramatically since the virus that we don't name by name has appeared. Now here's the part where I may ruffle some feathers. Feel free to leave your comments in the comments section down below. Do I feel that all families should homeschool? Yes. Now hear me out before you get all <laughs> ruffled and full of molting feathers, okay? Hear me out. I think that homeschooling would be great for every child in this fantasy world that I have. I'm not a fan of the public school system. This is not a secret. If you have watched my videos, you know I'm, I homeschool because I'm not a fan. Now, with that being said, I understand that this world is not my fantasy world, <laughs> okay? I understand every family has different circumstances and not everybody is called to homeschooling. Not every parent wants to homeschool. Now in my fantasy world, where I believe, yes, every family should homeschool, <gasps> in my fantasy world, I have this picture of every family just craving to spend more time with their children and craving that one-on-one -on -one interaction, craving to have their whole family sitting around the dining room, dining room, <laughs> dining room table and doing a read aloud and all of the kids wanting to be around their family all the time. This is my fantasy world. It's obviously not the real world. In my fantasy world, mothers love serving their family. I know, I know, how controversial. But this is my fantasy world, okay? In the real world, I understand that not everybody feels comfortable homeschooling. But if you are not homeschooling because you think you can't, if you want to, but you think you can't, you should. I'm telling you, there's a way. If you want to, there is a way. It's not impossible because you have to work. It's not impossible because you don't know everything. I mean, contrary to what my husband says, I don't know everything. Please don't tell him, but I don't. <laughs> I learn as I go and it's fun. Now, if you are truly interested in homeschooling and you just say to yourself, self, this is impossible. I cannot possibly do this. I can't work and homeschool or I, I just, I'm not a good teacher or I just don't know how I would juggle my life and homeschool at the same time. Send me an email. I would love to brainstorm with you. I would love to know your situation and maybe offer some encouraging words of advice. Let's brainstorm together. Let's figure this out because if it's something that you really want to do, you can homeschool. Now, in my fantasy world, I would love to see all of the kids come home from school and be educated at home in loving, warm homes with loving, warm parents. I understand that's not the world that we live in and school is an escape for a lot of children. It breaks my heart. It upsets my dog. And that's, that's the reality of the world that we live in. So do I think that all parents should homeschool? 
not in the world that we live in. That's not to say that I don't think homeschooling is the best option if you have been called to it. I'm not a fan of public school. I'm not going to hide that. I am very one-sided on this. I'm very pro-homeschool, anti-public school. I do think that public schools are indoctrination government facilities. I do think that private schools are a very good way to go if you cannot homeschool. I understand that private schools are very expensive. That's part of the reason why we homeschool. We cannot afford to put five kids in private school and still like eat and have a roof over our head. <laughs> it's just not in the budget for us. And I'm happy that it's not actually because homeschooling works out so well and we get so many blessings from it. Guys, hybrid, virtual learning, all of that. It's, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, I'm not sorry. Garbage, it's garbage. And it's not a good learning environment. If you feel in your heart, you can provide a better learning environment in your home and you wanna help and you want to homeschool your children, do it, you can. There are so many resources. There are so many ways that you can do this. Homeschooling does not look like one size fits all. I don't know any two homeschoolers that homeschool the exact same way. We just don't. We do our own thing and we make it work and it's beautiful. That's it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Share it with somebody who needs to see it and go over and join my emailing list over on my website, everydayblessings.net. I'd love to connect with you. If you wanna connect one-on-one, -on -one, send me a personal email. My email's down in the description box down below. Not every day is easy, but every day truly is a blessing. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.